Alright church, today I'm going to take you to the third part of this series of faith and the Lord has many things in store for you. I believe as you listen, you are going to get faith and you are going to rise up into becoming a new person, a person who is blessed. People who have faith have challenges. Everyone say, I have challenges. So if you don't have a challenge, then it's a problem. You know that friends? Because when you have a challenge, you let your faith loose and you overcome that challenge. Are you hearing me? We want to welcome those of you who are watching this service. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord give you faith even as you listen to this holy word of the Lord. All right, friends, write these things down very quickly. Faith can control time. I want you to get this into your spirit. Faith can control time. Now listen to me, friends. The Bible says Jesus was in the storm. Do you remember? Jesus was in the storm. What did Jesus do while he was in the storm? He commanded the storm to be quiet. When you and I have faith, we can redeem time. Are you hearing me, my church? God can redeem your time when you and I have faith. Faith controls time. Did you write that down? Faith controls time. Now, friends, I want to tell you this. Listen to this. No man is rich enough to buy back his parts. Let me repeat that again. No man is rich enough to buy back his parts. We hear church. Sometimes we have spent everything that we have trying to buy what we have lost. The Lord says, I will give you a new future. Hallelujah. I will give you a new horizon. I will take you to a new level in your life. Now friends, write the second thing down. The enemy is after our faith. Everyone say faith. The enemy is after our faith. The enemy knows if he can make or rob the Christian of their faith, they will not have prayers that are answered. They will not have miracles in their life if they rob them of their faith. Okay, faith is a force. I write it down. Faith is a what? Force. Hallelujah. It is power. It is the amazing force that was before us. So if you are having faith, the Lord can do the awesome things in your life. Friends, this day I was reminded of a fishing experience. How many of you have been fishing? Oh, very good. Now, don't worry, church. I'm asking about the fishing experience. It's not to ask about all, uh, all the fish you got. You take the fishing rod, you put the hook in with the bait in, and you wait. Am I right? You wait. How do you know when a fish is there? Come on, come on. It's heavy. Very good. You feel, no, don't you feel? You feel something. When you start feeling it, what do you feel? Excitement in your heart. Now you don't know what is there. Am I right? You don't know what is there. But you know that something is now caught there. Friends, faith is the same way. Before you and I see the miracle, we have to believe the miracle. Hallelujah. We must say, God, I am putting out my rod. You will provide the fish for me. Hallelujah. Did you hear church? God will provide the fish for me. Me. Hallelujah. All right, church. Now, let's go a little bit further and look into the word of the Lord. Amen. Uh, now, friends, I want you I want you to get these few things also in your spirit as I prepare to take you today to an amazing word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hebrews 11.30. If by faith, now we read, church, the walls of Jericho fell after the people had marched around them for seven days. Read again, church. By Very quickly, in this scripture we read right somewhere, there is no name of the person. Everyone say Joshua. Now friends, write this down. It's very, very important. Our faith is known by our action. Did you write that down? My faith is known by my action. Joshua's name is not mentioned here, but we all know that Joshua was the one who was to bring the walls of Jericho down. Now friends, as you are here, I want to tell you this, write it down. The Lord wants you to know this. Stop disqualifying yourself. Did you hear what I said? Stop disqualifying yourself. Some of you are disqualifying yourself before you can start. 
I will not get that job. I will not be blessed. I will be having problems. My marriage will fail. So before you can start, you have disqualified yourself. So now say this with me. I will stop disqualifying myself. Hallelujah. I am a person of faith. Praise God. So friends, I am teaching you aspects of faith. Now friends, listen to this very carefully. Write these three words down. Potential, promise, reality. Let me tell you once again. Potential, promise, reality. Did you write those three words down? Potential, promise, reality. Hallelujah. Now friends, in every one of us we have potential. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? We are created after whose image? I want to ask one person. After whose image are we created? Whose image? Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! I tell you, we do not come from monkeys. Remember, if you come to this church, you don't come from monkeys. Hallelujah! You come from God. Hallelujah! My image is in God. If God is my image, I have creative power. Do you know that? I have power to do the miracle. If God is my image, I am in God's Now friends, some of you pray, Lord, I want a promotion. Hallelujah! And some have prayed, it's a good prayer. I am going to ask you, do you go with early to work? But you pray for the promotion. Hallelujah! You know something? God is watching. Then you are going early to work. But you want the promotion. What do you want to do? What is needed? Some of you pray, Lord, I want eight A's for my exit. Did you touch a book? Did you study? Did you do your part? Friends, God will always do his part when I do my part. Did you hear that church? Hallelujah. When I am doing my part, God will always do his part. So if you are praying for something, put feet to your faith. Did you understand? Put feet to your faith. So friends, I am today telling you, it's by our actions that we are known. Okay church, as you are continuing to hear the word of the Lord and as you are being blessed today by his word, everyone say potential. Now all of us have potential. Am I right? We can do something. Praise God. And we can not only do something, we can do something well. We can have an idea that will change our life. Alright church, then that is promise. Everyone say promise. Now don't raise your hand, slowly raise your toes. Okay, now if you have made toe, hallelujah. How many of you have had promises being broken? If you have value shoes, you can't see. <laughs> and if you are here long enough, if you are living in this world, people are bound to break their promises. Am I right or wrong? Promises have been broken. But remember this one thing when God makes a promise, God never breaks his promise. Did you hear that, church? Now, I'm going to tell you something. I want you to write it down word to word. You can have the promise. And live in the desert 40 years. Let me tell it once again. You can have the promise and live in the desert 40 years. God promised the children of Israel, I will take you out of Egypt and give you a prosperous land, a blessed land. But for 40 years, they roamed in the desert. Now, friends, many of us today have the promise but we are still in the desert. Do you hear that? What I'm saying? We have the promise but we are still in the desert. You know why? We have not given feed to our faith. If we give feed to our faith, we will see it becoming reality. Now I don't say reality. Yes. Say it now, reality. Yes. Come with me friends to my second part of my sermon. Joshua chapter 1 verses 1 to 3. Hallelujah. So long I've been feeding you with faith. Hallelujah. Write this down if you like. Feed your faith and fear will starve to death. Did you hear me? Feed your faith and fear will starve to death. Amen. If there is fear, there is no faith. I will come back to that. Alright friends. Joshua chapter 1 verses 1 to 3. Today we are reading from the word of the Lord. Amen. Read with me church now. Amen. I want you to read loud. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to son of Nun, Moses, 
the next verse we on how to believe that. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people, bring out your letter with you. Get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I am about to give today to the Israelites. Verse 3, read verse 3 with me, it's powerful. I will give you. Hallelujah! 
God says, I will not leave you high and dry. Friends, God has promised them. And finally, listen to this. God says, I will not give up on you. Friends, how many times have people changed their life because someone refused to give up on them? How many times have people fallen but gone back and said, God, forgive me, and someone trusted in them and gave them another opportunity and they were blessed. If it is your time to give a person a second chance, please do it. Please do it. Amen. Because God tells you, I will not give up on you. You don't give up on them. Mothers, don't give up on praying for your children. Fathers, don't give up on praying for your families. Business people, don't give up on praying for your business. Working people, don't give up on praying for your dreams. For God has great things in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. In verse 6, uh, let's go to verse 6, friends, very quickly. Read with me. You're reading the Holy Word of God. Be strong and courageous. I can't hear the church. Because you will lead these people to inherit the land I saw your forefathers to give them. Be strong and courageous. Faith will demand that we be strong. Friends, I will tell you something. Elijah was one of the greatest prophets. You know that. I told you I would use this story a few weeks ago. Elijah bought one cow from him, and you remember. He bought fire. Everyone say fire. Imagine the powerful miracle. 450 prophets of God. One single man of God. 451. Imagine that. All alone. He prays to God and God brings down what? Fire. Hallelujah. So we are going to come to our final point. Friends, I want us to read love together verse 8 because everything ends on these words. Now what I'm going to tell you. Verse 8. Today, we are talking about putting faith into action. Do not, now read now, let the book of the law depart from the Do not blame God or the church. 